All right, and we're back again. Next episode of uh, this this grand old journey we're having here. All right, unofficial business. Ooh. No, are these? Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 hold on. Are those? Are those new recipes? Are those new recipes? No. Are these new recipes? Wait, no, actually, no. Wait. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Critical hit. I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, we're good. I don't think there is any new recipes. That scared the shit out of me. I was like, hello? New recipes. But nah. Oh, God. My nose is still running. I hate this. Uh, Alpha knows key to hear what Alize and Grahatia have learned from the Braves who turned their back on the cause. Well, I think we have taken up enough of our colleagues' time, uh, time, and I am conscious that that less life-affirming testimony is await. Let us make our way to Gridani and hear what the others have learned. You Billy. Do Gridani, we go. That's that's not the right. There you go. Hey, the right. check something really quickly because I know that there are new oh god no let's let's get away from that okay hold on there were new uh housing items and I want to see if they're you sure wait no I'm stupid yeah I'll check later heck it Um, shoot, they are Lancer's Guild. Okay. To the A, the right. What's up? Thanks to Jotaro's ever dependable intelligence, we managed to uh, track down a handful of former braves without any great difficulty. Some were forthright, others less so, but we heard enough to form a picture. I must warn you, Alphano, some of their comments were harsh. I can imagine, but their opinions are no less vital to my report. I seek the unvarnished truth. Oh boy. How bad. Oh, are we not going to see it? What? Uh, thank you. I will set about adding your findings to my own at once. In the meantime, pray go on to Little Solace and seek out Elder Fuxio. I will join you and on. Okay. Welcome, brave one, and friends of brave one. How good it is to see walking ones again so soon after the meeting. Should this one perform the customary dance of greeting? <laughs> no, no, be at ease. It is true that these ones much uh, once delighted in making walking ones dance, but no more. Warned one Kanesana said that walking ones were becoming too little solace. The Imperial ones also invaded Silphans and abducted many of these ones. So these ones will be glad to bear messages between fighting friendly ones. Uh, that is heartening to hear, Elder. It will require all ones to work in unison to stop the Teleferoi. These ones will try very hard, of course, but in manner matters of war, these ones have little experience. Any advice walking ones can provide would be most welcome. 
Oh, another pretty silver-haired one, and in quite a hurry, it seems. Alize, you must come quickly. Whatever's the matter, Alfredo? Don't tell me. You couldn't read my handwriting? What? No, a twin adder officer accosted me as I was about to set out. Charlie Ann has sent an envoy, who is due to arrive in Britannia at any moment. Oh, from Charlian. An envoy? Could it be that Kral has managed to sway the forum? We shall all know soon enough, but there is more. The envoy has requested that the two of us attend the audience with the Elder Seeds here. Really? I can see why they want the science to be present, but us specifically? Wait, it isn't who I think it is. Oh, it is. I can scarcely believe it myself, but when I inquired as to, en as to the envoy's identity, I was told it would be one for, sh for No, not the names again! For Chanel? For Chanel? Love you. It's their dad! Your father? Well now, the fact that a serving member of the forum had journeyed here would be surprising enough, but... Him? Quite. I glean from this that they are taking the matter seriously. That may be, but why him and not one of the other 98 forum members, unless he volunteered for it? It has been some time since you last saw your father, has it not? Could it be that he is concerned for your well-being? I he's gonna laugh in his face like, what the fuck? Uh, perhaps, but he has always been reluctant to discuss his work with us. Mm-hmm. Indeed, and whenever we write to our parents, it is in invariably our mother who replies. Nevertheless, I welcome the opportunity to meet him after so long, even if it is secondary to his true purpose here. Elder Fixio, loath am I to cut our vi a visit short. We must return to Gudania. Pray accept my apologies along with my report. Never mind, there will be time to talk later. This one won't keep walking ones for more urgent matters. Go. The audience will be held at the Lotus Stand, where the Elder Seeds here awaits even now. Let us be on our way. Oh, am I also- are we also involved in this? I thought it was just you two. Oh, whoops. So we're all going. Okay. Um. Nothing is altar. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um. Verdania. Let's go. Yes, I know that I could just travel there, like, fly there myself, but I'm lazy. I am very lazy. Oh god. Cease. Um, shoot. That'd be Conjurer's Guild, right? Yes, I am right. Bob champ. Welcome, Warrior of Light. The Elder Seeds here and your friends are waiting within. Okay, cool. Oh, this place is so pretty! I love this. Like, just like a nice little, like, like, area. I love this. Hello. Tis me. My friends, I thank you all for coming so swiftly. Word of Master Fauchelon's visit took us quite by surprise. When the Alliance granted Mistress Crow permission to request Charlianne's aid, we did not anticipate so prompt a reply, much less that it would be delivered by a member of the Forum. What the true nature of that reply may be, we shall soon discover. Or are we going to actually see Fauchelon? Oh shit! Oh shit, oh shit. Elder Seeds here. I thank you for granting me this audience. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. I am Fortune Olivia, here in my capacity as representative of the Forum. It is I who should thank you, Master Fortuno, for journeying so far and so swiftly. Would that our first meeting could have been under happier circumstances.
It has been too long, Father. You look well. Wait a second, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, like, to be cutting into the conversation, but didn't, like, if I remember right, didn't the Encyclopedia yours or whatever basically say that, so, like, they were dressed basically in identical clothing. Didn't it, didn't, didn't the book say that their dad basically just loved dressing them in, like, the exact same outfit? He's gonna look at them and go, who the fuck changed their outfits? Which one of you? As do you both. Amelians will be glad to hear that you are taking care of yourselves. Oh, is that their mother? How is mother? Hey! She misses you terribly, of course, but is otherwise a picture of health. Circumstances apart, I'm grateful that our meeting has afforded me the chance to be reunited with my children at long last. And I believe I also owe you thanks for the hospitality you showed my father, Louiswa, during his sojourn in Eorzea. All thanks we owe to him. In the days prior to the seventh umbral calamity, it was your father's tireless efforts which granted us a means to vanquish the primals. Were it not for him, our strength would have been quite spent by the time the Empire arrived. That Gridania still stands is in large part his achievement. He was a great man. He would doubtless have been moved to hear you say so. I must confess, however, that I opposed his decision to intervene. And my position remains unchanged. Oh. To chart the course of history, not to change it. I am familiar with the Charlian stance. It is more than that. It is our way of life, who we are. I was about to say like, oh wow, you know, oh, their dad is actually a little bit nicer than I thought he was gonna be from the Endwalker trailer. From, like from that trailer, I thought like he was gonna be like an asshole, kind of like a dick. Not well, okay, I wouldn't say like a dick, but like, you know, never mind. But I came here not to deliver a lecture. But the forum's answer to your request. It's gonna be a Charlian no. will under no circumstances intervene in the conflict between Eorzea and the Garlian Empire. I mean, kind of expected it, honestly. May I ask for what reason the forum has come to this decision? The final days spell the end not only for Eorzea, but the entire world. The final days. Pray spare me your hyperbole. This conflict is no more than the latest in a series of petty squabbles between oh. yourselves and Garlemald. One in which Charlian will take no part. <laughs> if the final days were truly upon us, we would know. Aha, uh -huh. and how would you know specifically? How? Father, you must ask the Forum to reconsider. You may feel safe on your little island across the waves, but if you imagine the Telophoroi will leave you be, you are mistaken. They mean to kill us all, themselves included. Alphano is right. We have seen what the enemy is capable of, the lengths to which they'll go. This is no time to turn a blind eye. Does... Quick question. Does their dad actually know that his children got sent to another shard one one of which the final days did occur and they basically they, they all everyone that traveled with us in science saw the final days have they told Porsche about it because like bro the final days are coming like I, I don't care about your fucking pretentious attitude of like, huh, well, we would know if the final days was happening. Like, no, shut up. If Eorzea falls, so too will Charlian. So if you truly love our homeland, you will join us now before it's too late. <sighs> I 
I thought you knew better than to raise your voice to your elders. It seems I was wrong. Wrong to ever let you leave, Charlian. I consoled myself that your time abroad would instill in you some hint of restraint, of discipline. But I see now that Beorzia has made fools of you both. Have you forgotten why it was that I so vehemently opposed your grandfather's departure? For all his wisdom, his only solution was to go to war. Death, devastation, ruin. Even those who claim victory are scarred for life. What prize could ever justify such sacrifice? It is the duty of the learned to avert such tragedy. By fanning the flames of war, you forsake all you once held dear. Nah, nah. Mm. I thought, you know, I genuinely thought that I was gonna like their dad somewhat. Like, oh, he's kind of cool. Mm. You know, I'll be their second parent. No, 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 no. I revoke your parents' status. So no, no, these are my kids now. I'm gonna adopt them for the legal paperwork at all. I don't care. Don't care if I'm like 21. I'm adopting them. You have no say in the matter anymore. Kids are mine. Um. Okay. Better to fight and fall than wait for the axe to. F oh, wait. Better to fight and fail than wait for the axe to fall. To ignore the part of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom. It is indolent. Or it is in your power to save us. Refuse and you condemn us. No, I'm not gonna. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna say this is your fault. I'm gonna say. Hmm. Better to fight and fail than wait for the axe to fall. Hmm. Yeah. Do something before that happens. I see your friend shares your misguided ideals. But unlike her, you should know better. <laughs> Bitch, I'm the warrior of light. I'm gonna kill you. Hold me back. By espousing such barbaric notions. You subvert the teachings of Charlian and place all we have worked for in jeopardy. Bro, the signs better fucking hold me, be holding me back because I'm about to launch myself at this dude. Alfino, Alizé. Oh! At this <gasps> moment, you shall no longer bear the name of Leveilleur. What the fuck? Wait, hold on, hold on. I was joking. How you choose to live your lives is no longer my concern. If you wish to walk the path of ruin, I will not stand in your way. Okay, yeah, no, 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 I was joking about adopting them, but okay, never mind, I guess. What the fuck? Master what is wrong Fortuna, with you? While Charlian may have no intention of intervening in this conflict, we can still part as friends. Will you not stay and speak with us? that we might learn of Charlian's hopes for the morrow. I have said what I came here to say. Any further discussion would be meaningless. Father, wait! Don't bother, Alizé! How can you stand there and watch him walk away? How can you let this happen? Speech, but it's really oh fuck. What do we say? God damn it! They're gonna make me voice this. Okay. So that's what he came here to say. That we're all fools for having the temerity, uh, temerity to defend ourselves against the Telophori. And as for the rest. Like it or not, this was the forum's decision to watch them afar, to watch from afar while Eorzea burns. 
father was but the messenger. And as he handed down that judgment, I could think of nothing to say that could possibly sway him. I still can't. To have prolonged the discussion would have changed little, for it is not only Master Forchalon who must be persuaded, but the Forum as a whole. Their decision was made ere your father crossed the sea. Nor it is like to be changed, and so we shall face, t face the Talafari without their aid. Forgive me, but if they had no intention of helping us, then why would they go to the trouble of setting an envoy in the first place? Why did they not simply keep their counsel as they are- oh, excuse me, as they are wont to do? Is that me? Oh. <laughs> Wait, why did they- why did they just look at us like, But your phone's going off and we're like, uh, and they're like, yeah. You, you, you can take your call. Like, why did that? <laughs> um, oh, it's Kryle. Panto, has Master Forshaw arrived yet? Yeah. Then it is as I feared. My efforts were in vain. I pleaded our case to as many four members as I could, but they flatly refused to discuss the matter. No, that's not exactly true. I'd rather say that they ignored every word I said on the subject without exception. It was almost unnerving. Oh, give me one second. Oh god. Sorry, I had to pause. I had to go blow my nose. Okay. <clears throat> Could it be that they are hiding something from us? That might go some way to explain Master Fulshino's performance. When he said that he would know if the final days were truly upon us, I dismissed it as pride. But what if they genuinely believe that they know how the world will end and simply disagree with us about the circumstances? That, I don't know, but something tells me that they are not unconcerned about the Talafri as they claimed. If, th if the threat w weren't real, why else would they be so standoffish and secretive? I would very much like to delve deeper into this, but I'm afraid I've exhausted every avenue of inquiry. Nor have I fared any better with my other mission, researching Hydaelyn and the Ethereal Sea. I tried to listen to the help of experts in the field, but it appears that the Forum has forbidden anyone from cooperating with us alone. Obstructed at every turn. So it would seem. But don't lose heart just yet. With all the knowledge and acquaintances we have between us, we can still find a way forward. To that end, I would like you all to join me here. When the time is right, of course. I am aware that matters in Eorzea stand on a knife edge. But with your per permission, I can at least start making the necessary arrangements. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> I've always wanted to visit Charlianne. Please do, or, well, there are one or two things I need to take care of here first. Uh, please do. Excellent. Obviously, keeping the Talafari at bay must take precedence. But with luck, you'll be able to make the journey to Charlianne ere long. It may take a while to secure entry for you, but I'll let you know when everything is in order. Look after yourselves in the meantime, won't you? Got you. Your speculations give me cause to hope. Yet, if these seeds will bear fruit, I cannot say. While it is possible that Charlianne hides some secret from us, there can be no certainty that its exposure will prompt in them a change of heart. And so for the present, we must needs confront the plight in which we find ourselves. The Forum has refused our request for aid, and it falls to us alone to contend with the Talafari. Even with all of Eorzea standing united, there is no guarantee that we will prevail. What does Charlianne intend to do if we fall, uh, fail? Uh, give me the chicken uh, fettuccine. I'm selling the food items. Anyway. Oh no, I should have looked at the, I, ah, I should have looked at how much each of these would sell for. Piss. Excuse me. Oh no. Oh no. You know what I asked for the shush to be an emote? I didn't think they'd actually do it, but here we are. Also, death unto dawn. That's, well, that's the end. <laughs> uh, 
funny Soda seems determined not to let the disappointment of Charlie Ann's rejection distract her from the task at hand. Oh, I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be an emotional bitch. I'm so sorry if you can hear me like sniffling. My nose is still runny. The chicken that I ate, I'm recording the same day. But the chicken I ate earlier for lunch really is kicking my ass right now. Uh, while Charlie Ann's stance is indeed disappointing, we cannot allow ourselves to be distracted from the challenge before us. There is much and more to be done. I shall begin by sharing the forum's response with my counterparts in the Alliance. Meanwhile, I would ask that the Scions... Uh-oh. Grave tidings, walking ones. Grave, grave tidings. Oh no. Calm yourself, my gentle friend. What has occurred? These ones who went to see Feathered Ones sent terrible news. Destroying ones have appeared in Zelfatol. Destroying ones and captured ones, and even frightful godly ones. Feathered Ones didn't stand a chance and were sent flapping and squawking. When did this happen? Is it too late to help them? Too late, yes, much too late. But luckily, Destroying Ones were only passing through and continued on west. Feathered Ones who did not fight were left unharmed. West. That would be Perthus. Whoa! We're halfway there! Whoa! My lady, the Ishgardians report that the Telophori have emerged from the western highlands of Corthus and are marching at speed. Though their purpose is yet to be determined, the Cartino Flats would seem their most likely destination. Lord Aymeric has already dis dispatched his forces and requests our immediate support. Tell him that he, sh he shall have it. The time has come for the Grand Company of Eorzea to prove its worth. Well, may happy it is a mercy that we do not have time to stew upon our misfortunes. Come, my friends, let us make haste to Cartino. W wait, this one almost forgot. Destroying ones were said to be led by a crackling, cackling, cackling rogue one. This one uh, must see that all walking ones know. Farewell. Ah, Van Daniel. Van Daniel? Who else? It was only a matter of time before that grinning maniac showed himself again. I shall have an airship ready at, uh, to bear you to Cartano. Pray see to your t preparations and report to the landing with all haste. At once, my lady. Let us away. But Daniel thinks that, like, all, like, the, um... What is it? The uh, convoction members are like, like defeated, gone, dead, whatever. Um, I can't wait to show up and be like, "Yo, bitch, you know me, Azem? Yeah, I'm gonna kick your ass now, buddy, buddy chum pal." Fucking show. Fucking beat that Daniel's ass. Uh, this one? Uh, yeah. This one. Oh boy, that's a lot of people. That's the secret. The shortcut. Uh, gotta go down here, I believe. Uh, this episode might be a long one then. I was gonna- I- oh man, should I end it here? Wait. Oh! Oops! Speak to Alphino outside of the Caroline camp. I'm gonna be- <laughs> I'm stupid, I can't read. Um, but I was gonna end the episode. But, you know, it also might be like two cutscenes and then over, so fuck it. If this ends up being like a long episode, so be it. Mario! Uh, Panta, it would seem that Fordola here has come all the way to Gridania to find us. I've explained the situation, but she insists her business is urgent. Aye, and it'll be over sooner if you shut up and come with me. Oh boy. Don't tell me Arvido's fucking dead, I swear to god. Oh no! Arnvold! 
Sweet boy. Arnvold, I can't tell you how good it is to see you. It arrived a lot sooner than expected, eh? The day I craned my neck up at you. No! <laughs> Only because you're sitting down. Alvin. Unless... Afraid so. The Chirurgeons say I may never walk again. No. Come on, Alfino, it could be worse. Besides, I didn't come here to dampen the mood. Quite the opposite. All I've ever wanted was to fight for a cause I believe in. But my fighting days are over. So I want you to fight in my stead. Be the hero I can't. Arvinol, you will always be a hero. I am no hero. That's what they all say, though. No one ever calls themselves a hero. Even the ones who eat primals for breakfast. Stop. It's for others to decide. Look, Alfino. You already are a hero. To me and countless others. We see you doing your damnedest to protect us all. And you're not alone, are you? There are people who believe in you. Just as you believe in them. Oh. Uh, we carry the genes of many, we'll carry yours too. We'll be sure to give your regards to the Telophori, or some things may have changed, but the adventure isn't over yet. Yeah. I like that. Some things may have changed, but the adventure isn't over yet. You'll always be with us, Arvinol. <laughs> Nothing will change that. What's at stake, and how many people are depending on you. But I believe in you. Believe that you'll see it through. That's why I'm entrusting my dreams to you. Like Albert and Owley once entrusted their dreams to me. Ooh, this hurts a lot, Scoops. There was a time when I would have borne the weight of such expectations without a second thought. But now. I know just how heavy that burden can be. To tell the truth, I'm beginning to wonder if I chose the right path. Sacrifices will inevitably be made for the sake of the ideals I uphold. Maybe I am not the person I thought I was. The person you think I am. I wouldn't presume to tell you. But I will say this. In spite of everything, you've come this far. The road ahead might not always be clear, but you've never been one to give up or take the easy way out. And everything you do, you do for others. For a brighter future. I'm proud to call you my friend. Oh, what the fuck? Well, I've said my piece, so I'll let you go. I know you've got more important things to be doing. Just give what I've said some thought, all right? I shall, my friend. And we will meet again soon, I promise. Oh, 
nothing left for me to do but wave and smile. Oh no, Arvinald. You've got a pretty narrow view of what it means to be a hero, do you know that? You think they're all forged in the fires of battle? That it's all about being brave and killing villains? Alphano and the others will carry on their fight. But theirs isn't the only one. There are other ways you can make a difference. If you stop feeling sorry for yourself and put your bloody mind to it. There's not much chance of me living the quiet life with you around, is there? No. If you're content to twiddle your thumbs thinking of what might have been, that's your lookout. But I reckon you've got some fight left in you. See, I love Rodola because, yeah, she's being a bit harsh, but at the same time, she's she's right she's right like there are things you still can do and i reckon you might be right if there's a way i can still help my friends i'll bloody well find it Judging by the set of Alphano's set of Alphano's shot, it appears to have done him some good. Tankard and the others have already left the Rising Stones, and according to the communications officer, the Amalsha and Kobold forces, uh, forces are also bound for Cartano as we speak. They mean to keep the promise they made in Alamigo, and we must do the same by saving as many of their tempered kin as possible. Anyway, the airship is ready, ready to depart. Uh, we should get going. Oh god, upon, upon joining the battle at Cartano, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended you set aside sufficient time to participate in the battle and view these scenes in their entirety. Your progress through the battle will be saved at certain points. In the event you are defeated, you will be able to try again from the most recent of these. Please note that if you enter battles associated with other quests or log out from the game, this progress will be lost. You know what? Let me end the episode and then continue in another episode because I have a feeling that the next episode will be a long one. So, I will see you in the next episode for, for the final battle, I suppose. At least for this patch. Alright, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Have a wonderful day.